Do you guys know Hopeless Dreams? The brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. They got some fire gear, like the. Yeah, that's some fire that, that gear too, a, bro. That's a really cool shirt. I th- that's that's definitely someone I've been watching, bro. You know what I mean? I've been. He's. A, I've been, he's a beast, bro. Yeah, he's a beast. My boy, Fat Boy. Um, he's a pioneer. He's the one that, in my opinion, I think he started the whole Chelsea brand wave. You know, he's one of the first brands that came up. You know, he's been mm-hmm. in it for five years, and um, you know, I was just like, I've been pretty much shadowing him since i was 16 just seeing him drop consistently consistently and i just talk to him every time i'm like on how i could be better and how he could be better you know that's someone i always talk to about clothes and such and um he always tells me every time you know like when i first started like now you know people hate on him and i'm just like dude like what what's there to hate there's a great message behind the brand and i don't get it like People will find any way to turn you down for doing something. You know, I like Jay Wavy. Kid's like what, 17? 17 years. Yeah, yeah. He's, and he's, he's putting, a beast too. He's making good music and people always find a way. It's like, oh, that's trash. Mm. Like, bro, he's 17. You yeah, tried I, launching your SoundCloud career like four years ago and it still hasn't gone nowhere. Like, just, yeah. like, <laughs> like yeah, he's like, he's doing a lot for a kid his age and then. That's just the thing I always try to see. Like, even people try to clown on Chelsea sports at, at occasion whenever they're – I mean, obviously, it's not, like, the most well-known sport. I low-key clown Chelsea sports. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Yo, we, we, not, not, no lie, we have a fantasy league, bro, and whenever somebody gets blown out, damn, that, that's the Chelsea That's the special, Chelsea special. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyway. I, I nah. see how – um specifically basketball and Chelsea, it's coming up. Okay. Yeah, for yeah, sure. It is, it is. Yeah, so, like, Chelsea high basketball is definitely starting to pick up a little bit. And I was literally, like, they have a good group of kids that are really, really ready to do, you know, things that we've never seen before. Like, who knows? They might make a deep run in the playoffs because they've just been working that hard. Yeah, yeah people will still hate on him saying, oh, he's too small. He won't He won't go that far. Mm. So they'll always find something to hate on you with. And that's one thing I'm always grateful for. You know, I don't have anyone saying Click is the worst brand in the fucking world. Never. Oh, yeah. I've never had anyone say that to me. I've never heard that from anyone. And that's, again, one thing I'm grateful for. But I just don't get why people hate. It's it's a thing. It's a, What I think is, it's a thing where, like, people just are, it's like jealousy kind of. They're kind of like, yes. they're watching. they're watching you make the moves. From the outside, bro. Yeah, and they're you know they're they're looking and they're just like, man, like I'm gonna give your brand an example, right? Let's say I'm hating, right? And I look at your brand, it's like, fuck, bro, like <laughs> it's not even that cool. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's like they see that you're putting in the work, they see that people yeah. are on your side, and yeah. then they're trying to be either different or they're like, nah, that shit's whack, or they're trying to just legit legitimately just hate on your shit just because something inside them like is just you just- know what I mean snaps them they're like i don't like that yeah like like, let's say like you know you're 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 very creative bro right they feel like they lack in creativity they're gonna be like oh that shit's whack you know what i mean oh it's not even that creative and it's something within them that's like damn like it's like doubt in them like fuck i'm fucking slack you know what i mean like i I think i really think it's like when somebody's not like okay with themselves like confident with themselves yes. it's like they want to pull somebody else's confidence down so we could all be on the same level you know like for me like, i know i like i i, I want to be artistic but like when i try to when i put a pen to paper i can't make like what's in my head come onto the piece of paper but i'm okay yeah. with that i'm like all right it's, it's fine so when i see somebody like you that's actually creative and can make stuff happen i'm like i don't instead of me because i know and i'm comfortable with myself i know maybe that's not my thing but I, I have other things that I'm strong in and I see you, I don't have to hate. I'll be like, yo, that's beautiful. That's something I wish I could do. Instead, instead of hating, I'm praising because that's really what it is. I'm like, it's like, damn, that's some beautiful shit. Like the, yeah. like, like the, the, the heart, bro, the, the flower on the back, like the, tu, tu amor, tu to, what is that? Tu amor es todo. Tu amor es todo. Boom, bro. That shit's beautiful, bro. Like, and I could like, Although I might, I feel the same way for my mom, you know, I'd be like, all right, when I see my mom, she'll literally cook. And before she eats, she's already washing the dishes. I'm like, bro, at least eat, bro. You know, and then when when I see that, it's like, bro, you it's like you put my feelings into yeah. a picture for me. And it's that's the same thing with people with making music, same people writing stories, whatever it is. It's like people putting 
what I feel or what they feel into into whatever whatever artistic form they want to put it into. And it's and for me, it's beautiful. But for people that you know may want to do that, but they can't, they just want to hate instead, yeah. which is weird, bro. It's just it's definitely obviously wild, you know how like people like certainly do that on a daily basis. Like they usually just hate like crazy. Yeah, but, it's uh, like yo, I, I'm not even gonna joke with you. Like you're gonna get haters, bro. Like yeah, for sure, people are gonna see no bullshit. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I, I mean, like it's gonna be like that one guy that's like, ah, uh, you know, click is good. But yo, you know what you do? You just ignore them, bro. Cause yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like if if you if 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 you listen to everyone that just hated on you, bro, you would fucking live a stupid ass life. You would never do the stuff you wanted to do. Yeah, you would fucking hate everything that you do. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, bro, you just don't stoop to the level, bro. It's just, let let them just talk the bullshit, bro. Really, but you you know your moves make the moves, bro. I think That's it's funny, it. bro. I really be laughing at people when I see hate, bro. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I'm laughing at you because I know you don't feel confident within yourself, bro. That's all Yeah, you feel be. like kind of sorry like, for them. Damn, okay. like, yeah, I literally be like, damn, bro. I wish I could hug you sometimes, bro. Like, you're hating, bro. <laughs> like, I know you need a hug. That's what you really need. You know, it's and it's not like I'm not trying to make a joke. I'm being dead ass, bro. Like I see, yeah, I, know, I, know, I see, I, I see people like, bro. Especially like Twitter. It's like, like it's with social media and people can hide behind the facade of, of the internet, yeah. bro. It's like, yo, this shit sucks, bro. And then I'll like go onto their page. <laughs> I'll go onto their page and like all their shit is just hating, bro. Hating and hating and hating and hating. And I'm like, bro, what is wrong in your life that you have to put us like you have to put this negative energy out? It it's, just makes no sense, bro. It's also a thing where, like, you know, people, like, when you're, like, against the crowd or whatever, you're kind of, you know, you're, it's like, it's like you feel cool or something. You know what I mean? Like, let's say, like, we're, like, fucking Uncut Gems is the greatest movie ever made, bro. Bro, that shit is, is not. A pretty, it's a pretty good movie. That was the wildest, movie. like, two hours of my life. Like That's what I'm saying. That's, like, the craziest, bro. I've never, like, I was, like, oh, my God. Every I've watched that movie four times. And I'm legit like, yo, right? But whatever, whatever, whatever. It's because I'm this guy, fucking, he, he put an L, bro. When it I wasn't, that. bro. It's because it's, bro, whatever, it's whatever, whatever, whatever. For me, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was like, obviously, it's a crazy movie. Like, what goes on? This man's just dumb with all, like, he just dumb. It's just, for me, it's dumb. Like, <laughs> you get, you get Kevin Garnett's ring, the first thing you do is go pawn it to make some money. Bro, like, that's just it, it, stupid, fucking, bro. It, it's just so, that. like, it's so it's so awesome, bro. But nah, nah. It's 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 like a thing where like I think people are just like, all right, they're gonna just, all right. If everyone likes that movie, there's gonna be that one guy that's like, all right, fuck that, bro. No, you know what I mean? Like, if you see it all the time. For example, um, LeBron is the goat. You're gonna see like a fucking Max Kellerman, a fu- Skip Bayless, a Victor bro. Rodriguez. Yeah, but but it's because I'm a Celtics fan. I, I respect LeBron because he's nasty. I don't. I don't like him because he's not on my team, bro. That's how it works. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works, bro. Like, for example, Tom Brady is my dad, but I'm mad at him right now. He's not playing on my fucking team. That's why we got Goat Newton right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the Brady jerseys, the Brady jerseys in the fucking in the in the drawer, bro. You know what I'm saying? But nah, nah, but that's how it is, bro. Like, I think like people will be like, yo, even if it's like fucking world peace is necessary, no, it's not. It's really not. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, people just like it's either you have something within yourself that you're just insecure about, mm-hmm. or it's a thing where like, you just want to be opposite of whatever the crowd is going with because you just want to be different, bro. For whatever reason, bro. It's, I don't know. I don't know how it works, man. I don't know how I can't process that in my mind, but there's just people out there that are going to do it, bro. There, there is one question I have for you guys. Have, you, you, bro. have you guys received any hate yet? Uh, Not, I, I don't feel like so. directly, bro. Like maybe I, I feel so. like there's definitely been people hating like uh, at their cribs and shit, like talking to their friends. But I don't think I've ever seen anyone but, be like, "Yo, I mean, you guys bro, suck." Man, <laughs> the approach we also take at the pod is like we open, we're open to like, I, like I'd be in everyone's DMs and I'd be like, "Yo, what you think?" Like truly, I'm like, "Don't be fucking nice to me." If you think the shit was trash, tell me it's fucking trash. You know what I mean? So I think that openness with us helped us get better you know what i mean yeah. like like it's like it's i don't know i feel like you it's kind of hard to hate on someone when you're open you're you're the person that you're trying to hate on is open to whatever you're the like, fuck okay, you're gonna you're say right. yeah, yeah you're right, right. oh you're thanks right. man like wh- why do you think that you know what i mean we're gonna question you even if you're like that episode was fucking garbage you know what i mean let's just try. 
it's just how it is. I don't know. I think that's the approach because even from your haters, you can learn some stuff. Fact. You know they might be right. You never know. You yeah. never know. Hey, I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. And especially like, especially with uh, with us, I feel like I'm I'm my biggest hater, bro. I literally watched the episode. I'm like, I could have done better. I <laughs> yeah. He pisses me off, bro. Cause I'll be I'll, legit. This happens every week. I'm gonna call him right after this episode ends. I'm gonna be like. That shit was a fire episode, right? Tell me not, bro. He's going to be like, I could have asked more questions, bro, and I could have <laughs> Yo, because I'm, I'm always thinking about how to get better. That's why, bro. Mama mentality, I, baby. Mama mentality. Exactly. Is that, yeah, yeah. You can't hate on it, but at the same time, bro, like, sometimes I just want to be like, yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. And this dude's over here. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> I should have asked this question a better way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's just... What the fuck to just fucking be hyped with me, bro? So, but it's, it, it, yeah, but that's just how it is, bro. I don't know, man. We we we're open to whatever, bro. If you're yeah. gonna be like, this shit's trash, this shit's garbage, it's gonna be like, oh damn, I, I'm sorry you feel that way, but we're still gonna keep doing what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not gonna hurt me to be like, oh Jason, I quit. Fuck this. I'm done. Yo, that's that's I wanna, what I think is funny. Next like, week, I, I'm going to come back, bro. Yeah, for I think it's funny. Like, some people really, like, take it to heart. And I'm like, bro, you got to be confident, bro, in yourself and what you're doing. Like, obviously, if you take the hate and then you, you like, take it to personal, that means you are not confident within yourself. So it's kind of, yeah. you got to practice, practice that confidence, you know, boost yourself up always. Or rip yourself down like me so that if somebody else rips yourself down, you're not going to. It's gonna be like okay, yeah, all right. What else you gotta yeah, say? But I don't think it's ripping yourself down. I think it's just you're looking at yourself, critiquing myself, yourself. then critiquing myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not like, fuck you, Jason. You're a fucking bum. You know, no, I've mean? definitely, said like, I definitely, I've definitely said that. I definitely, I've definitely said that on air too, <laughs> on air, bro. I literally, I was like, yo, I'd be like, yo, you're a fucking piece of shit, bro. And I, but it's whatever, you know. We out here. But I think what's cool is we come from a city where, where we got support from everybody. Like, a lot of people support yeah. us. I see, like, literally, we posted this the thing yesterday about the International Podcast Day, and it was just, like, a lot of people were commenting, yo, this is a great podcast. I love this shit. And I, 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 was, I was driving. I was driving to my girl's crib, and I was just like, let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking <laughs> go, bro. I was just hyped, bro, because I was like, yo, this is what, I, this is what I'm doing, bro. I, I, want, I want people to feel this way and they do and i'm like cool you know oh man yeah no nah, no nah, like oh man like I, I i'd be fucking i gotta like I, when people like start giving me like praise oh you guys are doing great stuff I, like i gotta hold back tears bro because i'm so fucking i'm like oh you chill bro you, i'm turning red you're gonna make me cry bro like yo cool because like bro I'm you, it's just it's just it feels good man it feels good because i'm i'm chasing the dream bro i've been i've been th- i've been fucking I've been thinking I'm like fucking Jimmy Fallon, bro, Jimmy Kimmel, bro, all these people, bro. You know what I mean? For a long time, bro. I've been interviewing like in the mirror by myself, bro. I've been trying to have crazy ass conversations, you know? And I feel like now that I'm doing it, I'm fucking loving every step of it. And this is, this is my dream, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm glad I get to do it with my, one of my best friends. You know what I, I mean? You know, we the way to do it, man. 